Okay, today we're going to learn how to edit a photo in Lightroom so that we can export it to use in our website. So we're going to go down to the bottom uh, and find the Lightroom LR and we're going to start up Lightroom. And when Lightroom starts up, you're going to see on the left hand side there is a um, set of galleries here. Uh, we're going to go to the Military Ball Gallery, which is the last gallery. If we double click, we can go to and kind of see all of the pictures that are in the gallery and move the screen over here so you can see all of the uh, different uh, tools that you can use here. Uh, the difference in colors uh, that you see here, the, the reds and the, the yellows, um, are already up in galleries and you can see they have a little flag on them here and you can click that flag on and off and what that's for is uh, so that you can actually, um, ones that are flagged, you can go to the attribute um, window and or tab and you can click on and off um, of the different attributes so that you just see if I want just those who are in the um, gallery that I have online that are red indicated by the red um, I can click on the red and if I want to see all of the photos I can click off of the attributes and I can see all of the photos and we're gonna go ahead and, and come down and select a, a photo to edit and we'll begin um, by editing that. So let's go ahead and um, we'll get one of uh, the opening, uh, some of the opening statements or the opening prayer. Uh, and you go up and click the develop tab and that takes you to the develop screen. You can see all of the controls over here. There's a lot of controls. We're just going to um, look at the uh, top couple of panels here. Um, we'll go ahead and white balance auto which it automatically has been done and then the exposure level I'm going to auto um, you can see with the highlight and kind of play with these and kind of see what they do the highlight turns down a little bit clarity allows you to um, kind of fog, fog things or um, create a lot more um, kind of edge to the the photo and I'm going to turn the, the um, clarity down just a little bit turn up the light and then the shadows, I'm going to increase the shadows um, just to give a little bit more um, texture to the photo. Come down here to the noise reduction and because it was taken uh, with a uh, low aperture, I will try and get rid of some of the noise there. And then up here is the crop button. We'll come down and crop this so that uh, the image is cropped so that we have the image in uh, the thirds. And so now we have an image that is um, a, a more presentable image than the uh, original image, the darker image that we had. And uh, I'm going to leave the color settings um, all pretty much the same. I'm going to go back to the library now. And we can see this. We'll go ahead and click on the flag. And we right click and that allows us to export and we can export to a specific file. I'm going to export it to the military ball. We'll, if that isn't already chosen, we choose that and then we say export. And then that exports the image to a JPEG and it will be usable in our um, iWeb for our website. And we will do that with uh, a variety of uh, different images that you will select and upload to our uh, iWeb Team 66 and Team 470 website. And that's it.